Alright, um, on this video I want to show you how to use existing um, components or insert those into um, a design file. If you look underneath the insert menu right there, there's the insert McMaster car component. So if you click on that, that opens up kind of like a little mini web page um, and shows you the catalog that's available. So you can start looking through this for you know the different hardware components that you want to use. And basically, if I click on a piece like that, um, I'm going to go in and do this type of um, screw, and when I get to this level I'm going to choose plastic, and then I'll go ahead and just choose that one for right now, demo purposes. But basically you almost go in and like you were going to order, um, you know, like fifth quantity of 50 of, you know, this number two half inch zinc plated uh, screw. And if I click right there, we finally get to this where it has product detail. And if I click on that, that then takes you to the page about that and then you see the complete list of you know kind of specs on this down here is where you actually see that you can in, uh, save the 3D files now normally it's set to SOLIDWORKS I switch it to 3D step and I hit save now I'm going to actually use a different one here this is the one I already gone through and done so that's the part number I'm searching for it there it is once again click on the product detail scroll down and I make sure I choose the step file type and hit save. What it does is it drops it right into the file. So now I can start uh, manipulating it. Let me spin it around to start off with. Start off with. Uh, move it out so I can see it. Okay, good. Um, and I'll hit OK to this. And you can see it's a very uh, wonderfully detailed uh, screw. It's the right size and everything. So it's perfect. Great way to incorporate incorporate a realistic component and right there that's where you get that part number or that it's shown over here it's um, the part number and this is an embedded file so that you can actually go in and um, you know edit something if you wanted to but this is all one body there so it's not much to work with in that case all right now I can do like the joint tool and line this up I do need to capture the position otherwise it'll flip back to where it originally came in and so you'll spend some extra time getting it moved back around. I will pick, in this case, this little edge right there. Okay? So that's kind of that main um, sur surface. And then I'll come up and pick that right there. And this should move it up. Puts it right in the right location. Um, and sets it up real nicely. Okay? So that's how you incorporate. Go get the other ones. I do the same thing. Just keep repeating the process and move around and do all of the other screws. Um, you can, I believe, do a, um, a array if you wanted to, something like this. So that's possible as well. But just go back and insert just as easy. All right, so that's how you use an existing components.